Each of the 50 states has its own set of laws. Sometimes that can get confusing, but the Constitution says that one type of law always comes out on top. What's that? The U.S. Constitution. Article 6 says that federal law is the supreme law of the land, also known as the Supremacy Clause. This means federal law overrules state law in all matters involving the U.S. Constitution, treaties, or laws passed by Congress. This was important to the framers because many states at the time were in violation of international treaties, which threatened the security of the nation as a whole. And state judges are specifically required to enforce federal law over state laws and constitutions. Otherwise, if state courts refused to uphold the Constitution, then people would just sue in state courts to avoid federal law. This shows that the framers knew how important it was to have judges apply the law. Article 6 also states that every member of Congress, every federal judge, and all executive and judicial officials must take an oath to support the supreme law of the land, the U.S. Constitution. This order applies at the state level to every legislator, judge, and executive official. Federal officials are required to support the Constitution, but they do not have to support a particular religious belief. In 1787, when the Constitution was signed, many states required those who held public office to follow a specific faith, such as Christianity instead of Judaism and Protestantism instead of Catholicism. But the framers chose to prohibit this practice at the federal level. It was the beginning of freedom of conscience, the right to believe or not believe in religious doctrine under the U.S. Constitution. There is only one loyalty oath required in the United States, and that is to the Constitution itself. Without the Supremacy Clause, what would happen if federal law conflicted with the state law?